Awesome. Hey, how are we doing, guys? Um, so I uh, decided to concentrate mostly on the lead stack. Um, so I built a e-commerce website called Nerdy by Nature, um, which basically just specializes in nerd culture and um, apparel and things of that nature. Um, so all my animations, everything's done in HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. So outside of the mean stack, I didn't rely on any dependencies, um, which I'm really proud about that I got some of the functionality that they did on my website. Um, so this is just kind of like our landing page. Um, talks about basically the potential company, I guess, the fake company that we created. Um, also has popular products which are updated by the amount of times they're clicked on in my store, which you'll see here in a second. Um, and actually, we need to go ahead and lock out. So, sorry about that, guys. Cool. Um, so, we pop here into the store. Um, I just did basically an NG repeat. All this stuff is being stored on the back end. So these are actually just URL calls. So I was pretty impressed with um, Angular being able to just handle the load of all these specific URL calls that I'm calling um, for each specific item, image, and everything. Um, here on the products page, um, I felt like a really important thing with e-commerce is the user being able to pick exactly what they want. Because sometimes when you go to e-commerce page, you don't know what you're actually looking for. You're kind of like, well, shoot the breeze. Um, I like nerd stuff, so let's hop in here. Um, this has about eight different filters that we uh, coded in here. So if we're feeling like we want to do maybe like a, uh, like a click on something, we're feeling like looking for Batman today maybe. Um, you also can sort everything by name, price, popularity. Um, and I'm so impressed with like how quick Angular loads everything. It's pretty rad. Um, you also can do by color and whatnot. Um, so let's pop out here. Let's say that we want to add a piece to our um, cart. We're not logged in yet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just create an account real quick. Um, you got it, dude. Nailed it. Sorry, dude. Um, so when you log in as a user, uh, you can go ahead and actually push items to your actual card. You'll see that there's actually already items in this card because I already have a user in here. Um, so this is a previous user. So we can come down here, we can actually, if we want to add some more shirts or something like that, we can add shirts. And the cool thing is that what I did here on my card is um, I just had it make the HTTP re um, call every time you open it. So every time I open this thing, I'll go ahead and add my other pieces of um, apparel, I guess you could say. Also, there is a page that actually views, this is all done in a custom directive, so it actually auto-populates um, based on what piece of item you click on. Cool. Um, so yeah, all I used was my, um, all I used was the basic meat stack, and so it's kind of like just a really kind of good moment for me to discover what I learned and what 